So this video took a lot longer than expected to make. Yeah. I couldn't find that many. Oh my god. So... I've been trying to find at least a minimum of five videos to put into this video for Spike's two year anniversary of his death. <sighs> yeah. I was trying to get it out yesterday and I ended up having to do this three times. Three times guys. Three freaking times. It keeps on freaking corrupting. Oh my god. You guys don't understand. This freaking video is taking too long to make. But I finally fixed my editor. You should be good. So. Oh my god. I do apologize, guys. I really wanted to get it out on the 20th. Today is now the 21st, it's pushing 7 o'clock tonight, so I might have to do the, I might have to send this out either overnight, if you guys see this overnight, you get it overnight, if not, I would have to send it out tomorrow morning, I do not know, but I just wanted to let you guys know that I, it's corrupted three times, so this is now my fourth attempt to edit my video, so from here, one way or another guys I'll get it out so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, yeah hope you enjoy it <laughs> taken it's been taking me far too long guys far too long hello everyone this is today is a very special day and I'm gonna be wasting a lot and I mean a lot of of time on editing this video. So two years ago from today, that means February 20th of 2017, my cat Spike passed away. So last year I tried my best to make the best video possible on trying to explain every picture I have ever had on my phone, through my computer, stuff like that on my cat. So if you're new, if you never watched any of my older videos or anything like that, I'm going to explain Spike. So Spike was a very, very, very lovable and had a really good attitude when he wanted to. He was very lazy. He kind of acted like me. He tried his best to pretty much mock my personality and put it into his own as a feline. <clears throat> So, there was a few moments in, in his life, he lasted his 13 years very, very well. <laughs> so, the positive thing about him was certain people had certain restrictions. And for me, I was the only one who could grab him by the scruff of the neck and swing him onto my shoulder where my father and my friend John were the only ones allowed to mess with him with actual steel toe boots where he would claw at the boots. Also, every night he would know when bedtime was and he would sleep with me at night. When I first adopted him, the coolest thing was that he chose me. He actually came up to me and laid on my lap and just sat there and told me that he wanted me. So throughout the years he kind of grew over a long period of time and so I don't really want to talk about how he passed away but I will say is he passed away in a very very weird way. Like I never had a um, a pet death until Spike. So my first experience with a pet death was when I was maybe 18, 19 years old. So when he passed away I was making a video on I think it was 
Cat Mario, which was actually kind of a coincidence. I took that video down due to the cries and stuff when he was in my room. I was really debating on releasing the video and I accidentally released the video knowing that Spike was okay and once he passed away I immediately took it down. Now, so when I was doing the video he was crying pretty badly. Like I just thought it was he just missed me or something, he just wanted attention. I didn't know that he pa he was passing away on that day. So he ended up taking off downstairs, acting all normal. And out of nowhere, when I was releasing the video, he cried as loud as possible. And all the cats was surrounding him. And once I got down there, all of them ran away and he was he was passed out on the ground I just thought he was asleep and when that happened I never realized that he was actually passed away in some weird reason I'm like come on Spike come on come on I know I know you're okay and finds out I patted his stomach a few times he coughed and that was the last thing of him and every and the coolest thing is that I always think when he when he coughed he was just saying goodbye, just to keep myself positive that he knew I was there for him when he passed away. And he was in my arms, which was the most tragic part, that he was actually in my arms when he passed away. So, honestly, the positive things I can always think about when he was very very lovable was when I went to school he would actually wait at the door at a certain time when I walked in he would sleep in my bed every night for the 13 years he was with me and pretty much just the the, 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 the throat thing and just swing him on my shoulder since day one not when he was like a kitten or anything but when he grew up he had that lengthy little neck part on the back so where the mothers end up grabbing by the, with their teeth and they'll grab them he wouldn't freak out so I'm sorry if I'm delaying so much I really wanted to talk about a little bit every year I'm probably gonna try figuring something out I don't know to just have something out there just so that I can have something out for him because I love him so much. Um, I have him in a box with his ashes so that he knows that I always want to be with him. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm probably tomorrow if I go live, I might have him either over there on the chair or something. I don't know. If you guys want him to be in the video or the stream tomorrow, let me know and I'll make sure he's in it. But besides that, guys, I hope you enjoy the video. It might be a long one, it might be a short one, I do not know. Because the new update with OBS, <laughs> there is no time frame down below, so I don't know how long this was. So yeah, I'm going to try my best to make it maybe 30 minutes, 40 minutes long. If I don't, and it's a lot longer, it's like an hour long. That means that there was a whole bunch of videos that he had with me through my career of YouTube. And that means he was part of most of it, the adventure. So really, really, really quickly, there's going to be restrictions on the videos. So I have to, this is a challenge a little bit too, because I got to waste a lot of time, guys, a lot of time to find him. So there are challenges. The spike torture treatment challenge, um, the videos he was actually in with him actually alive. Sorry for the, making that sound deep, but um, so it could be like the one, my first video where he was in my room. I had my office in my room, and he was on the bed behind me. That counts, pretty much. The torture treatment challenges when he passed away. 
and the few Mario Maker stuff that I did that was basically him and the Cat Mario stuff. So it could be more or more and more stuff. I do not know how this is going to work, but if it's any longer than 30 minutes, I do apologize. But guys, I'll um, see you soon. If you guys have any questions on how Spike was, let me know in Discord in a PM and I'll talk to you guys about them. Okay? So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoy some moments with Spike and uh, some rageful moments with Spike as well. And I'll catch you guys in my next live stream or maybe if I do it at the end and I talk about it a little bit, I don't know, but if I don't, I'll see you guys in my next live stream, okay? And I'll catch you guys soon. Can't. There's no way. I pushed right. There we go. Fine, I'll use my left hand. Oh. I actually hurt. I'm a trained professional, don't do this at home. This person. All right, ready, go. All right. It's reminding me of the, of the levels I was just doing the other night. So I need to shoot one. In order to get through that, I need to hit at least one. How?
is so beautiful, but yet so freaking scary as hell. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the five minutes that I could do. It's kind of sad that I could only get five minutes, but that's due to corruption of my entire freaking history of my videos. I had to delete every single one because I could not use it. There's like maybe five out of the 20 videos I had out of the entire time that I was trying to do everything for Spike. But I have my buddy right here. Trying to showcase my freaking bottom. But I have him right here. In in loving memory of Spike. So or he's gonna join us for just a few minutes. Hopefully he doesn't fall. But yeah, I had freaking about twenty videos or captures of everything and I don't remember what I chose but this is the almost the fourth attempt to make this video for him that's why I had to wait an extra whole day to make this video for him just can't you just can't plan a time to make something special and then expect something not to happen so I tried to have my friend understand this for a second. So, nothing too tragic. But, um... So imagine life as an hourglass, okay? Just imagine life as an hourglass. Each individual sand, or piece of sand, that falls from the hourglass, and imagine that as a human being, okay? Once that piece of sand drops, that is a human being who just passed away. Now imagine the day ends. You flip that hourglass over and you start that time all over again. That extra 24 hours and then, and then add the extra 60 hours per hour, that right there is your life. Every piece of sand is a person who passed away again flip it again same thing you just can't stop life you might have a, a, a pet pass away you might have a family member who passes away might not be the next day of your life that this person passes away or this animal passes away or feline or whatnot eventually we'll all pass away it's just how life works it feels like yesterday when I first had him still in my bed sleeping with me not that kind of way but in a loving way because he wants to protect me it literally was about two years ago I think it was two or three hold on 2017 two years ago Spike passed away in my arms was one of the worst moments in my entire life not counting my grandmother okay it's sad that both of my most closest family members not counting my parents passed away almost three months near each other okay I wish I still had my buddy here okay but you guys have been pushing me and pushing me to keep on my toes. And I appreciate every single one of you. Now, if you made it this far without having to feel down in the dumps, feeling bad for me, for everybody who you saw, if you saw the moments with the streams where there was like FPS, Game Fox, if there was Gage in there, there was some other moment. Anybody who you saw in the chats that were like over here, 
and it was just moving up. Huge shout outs to them. Huge shout out to everybody that has helped me through the year and a half to maybe push in just a year. I'm not sure yet. But um, yeah, everybody in my chats to, to this day, huge shout out to everybody. Honestly, knowing that I don't have the people to help me anymore, not counting my friends, all of you guys have helped me through the past maybe two years without my cat. And I, and I could never ask for any, anybody better. I have my family. I have my buddies that are over here all the time. But honestly, you guys as well have helped me through the darkest times that I've had for the past three years. Dealing with freaking government. Dealing with the, the stress. Dealing with um, depression. Sitting on my butt for almost three years since I graduated school and I finished school fully. I have not moved from this house to get a job yet because I've been waiting and waiting and waiting. And I feel like I'm finally getting somewhere in that pro on that process, but I'm still waiting from one other th one other company before I can move on. So I still have a long ways to go, and I really want to take this adventure with all of you guys. And I couldn't ask for anybody else to join me. I really couldn't. We've been growing, slowly but surely, becoming a, a community. Almost 400 people subscribe to me, and that's one extra step that I can I can say, hey, we made it to 400. <laughs> Where's that 500? We might be slowly growing, but I've only been going live for about maybe a year to a year and a half. Now, I don't think it's been a year and a half. It's just been so quick. I think it's only been a year and a half. <clears throat> Not sure. Guys, if it's only been a year, let me know. Maybe you guys can help me in the comments or through Discord or something. Let me know how long I've actually been going live with you guys. <clears throat> I'm sorry if I'm freaking cutting off my throat. It's been a long freaking... It's, it's been stressful. I've cried a few times trying to find all these points and I lost all my freaking recording. Sadly. <laughs> but from here, I'm trying not to delay so much time. I just really want to take this moment to thank all of you guys for helping me through so much time because I really don't have anybody else to really talk to and rant to or even do anything and my hands look absolutely huge on my computer but even though they're really not that big they're actually a lot smaller than that you guys might see a huge hand but it's actually pretty damn tiny I don't know my, my computer my freaking screen is humongous it's like this big I, I can't really show you but it's it's humongous <laughs> but besides that thank you guys so much for watching please 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 if you can smash that like button for me one like equals one support or if you guys want to dislike because it's just something very sad and you guys really don't want to hear too much about that off that often do that. that. That helps me saying that you guys really don't want to hear too much sadness. You guys don't care about the drama or you guys don't care about other stuff. That's okay. That's okay. Every dislike and every like counts for something. You might just, it might just be a hater. It might just be whatever. It's just okay. I'm sorry if my freaking voice is cracking. God damn. I'm trying not to cry. But Thank you guys so much for all the support. I really do appreciate every single one of you that are part of my streams. And like I said, huge shout out to everyone. Everyone. And I'll catch you guys in my next live stream, okay? And Panda, out of here.